Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how can we use Steam tables in Microsoft Excel. As we know, Steam tables represent the thermodynamic properties of water and steam in a tabular format. But retrieving the information from such a lengthy small font tables could be a cumbersome activity. To overcome this challenge of tabular format of steam tables, you can use Excel add-in that is much easy to use for your thermodynamic calculations. I will show you where can you download this Excel add-in for the steam tables. Then I will also show you how to install this steam table. And finally, I will walk you through one solved example from the popular thermodynamics book by Smith and Van Ness. Now, let me show you where can you download this Excel add-in from the internet. In your search engine, you need to type Excel in mechanical engineering. This is the website that we are looking for. We need to navigate through this website to locate and download the add-in of our interest. So I'm clicking this Thermodynamics. Scrolling down, you would see this particular hyperlink that is thermotable.xlam. It is macro enabled Excel add-in. And this is the add-in that is the Steam table add-in. So I'm clicking this. So we have downloaded this thermotables.xlam. Now you need to place this add-in in suitable location of your PC. I'll make add-in folder in my D drive and I place my new Steam table add-in there. Now I open my Excel. In Excel, I need to give a path to my add-in location. Now, let's solve an example from the book by Smith and Van Ness. Here, I'll show you how can we use the Steam table functions from the add-in we just installed. In this particular problem, we have a steam turbine. The steam turbine's rated capacity is around 56,400 kilowatts. Its isentropic efficiency is 75%. The superheated steam that we would be using in this example is a is at the pressure of 8600 kilopascal 86 bars and the temperature is 500 degrees centigrade and the outlet condition is given in the terms of pressure temperature is not given to us now we need to figure out two important aspects in this problem first is we need to figure out how much this superheated steam that would be required to produce this much rated shaft work so to, to get this much amount of shaft work of 56.4 megawatt, what quantity of superheated steam would be required? So that is a one, uh, one, check, uh, one question that we need to solve. And second thing is about what is the quality of steam at the outlet? So what fraction, what mass fraction of vapor would be there at the outlet of the steam turbine? So we need to calculate that as well. So let's start this example. In this example, I have already written down all the steps, only the values need to be put. So first we will calculate the inlet steam enthalpy H1. So for that, we would write this equation H, H stands for enthalpy, and we have pressure and temperature values of the inlet stream. So I'm writing down this pressure temperature PT underscore, and 
we are working with the water we are not working with any refrigerant here so i will use h2o formula so this is the formula now we need to put pressure and temperature when you are first time user or when you are very not familiar what unit that we need to put in we can go with this particular help that is a fu insert function button so when we click it it will show you everything about like what uh, parameters we need to insert and what would be the unit corresponding to this pressure and temperature so here it is mentioned the enthalpy that they will receive it will be on kilojoules per kg as a function of pressure the pressure needs to be in kilopascal and temperature needs to be in centigrade in si unit and for english units and optional env english unit third argument so we are not working with english unit here so i'm skipping it just uh, pressure so i'm just uh, uh, locating our pressure for the inlet steam that is this one and the temperature is here it is in degree centigrade it's not in kelvin it's a degree centigrade and we need it in centigrade so it's fine third argument i'm not writing anything because it's uh, we are not working with eng units so we can see here like 3392.15 this much kilojoule per kg answer is coming so i'm just accepting it okay and it is populated here very similarly we need to know what is the entropy of that inlet stream so entropy with given temperature pressure and we are interested with water function so okay that's fine again i'm going with insert function so pressure kilopascal temperature in degree centigrade and answer would be coming in kilojoule per kg kelvin fine so pressure located temperature in degree centigrade is located and okay so this is kilojoule per kg kelvin this is our entropy for the inlet stream now considering the expansion is isentropic process in that case what would be the outlet enthalpy corresponding to isentropic expansion so before that since it is an isentropic expansion we know what is the uh, entropy of that uh, outlet so isentropic expansion entropy would remain essentially the same so i'm just keeping this value same for s2 prime that is our entropy and the enthalpy isentropic enthalpy at the outlet that we can calculate by function again h enthalpy we know what is the pressure and we also know the entropy and we are working here for water so i'm just taking this water and let's go to this now the pressure here at the outlet is 10 kilopascal and the entropy is just we have written down here it's isentropic so this one and clicking okay so this is like 2117.2 kilojoules per kg this is the outlet enthalpy for the isentropic expansion now isentropic enthalpy change that is nothing but h2 prime minus h1 so i'm just uh, using this uh, formula h2 minus h1 so this is like minus 1274.9 kilojoules per kg this is our isentropic enthalpy change now we need to know what is the actual enthalpy change so for h actual enthalpy change i need to multiply this isentropic enthalpy change with isentropic enthalpy so this is something like coming minus 956.18 kilojoules per kg now in this case what is the actual enthalpy at the outlet that is the real enthalpy so that can be calculated by this uh, just the expanding the delta that is delta h plus h1 that is this one so my answer is coming like 2436 kilojoules per kg is the actual enthalpy at the outlet once we know this now it's pretty easy for us to calculate how much steam is required how much superheated steam is required if we want to get the shaft work of 56.4 megawatt from this steam turbine which has isentropic efficiency of 75 percentage so in this in this case what i would do is like Uh, since for the convention i am taking the negative value of the shaft work minus 56400 kilowatts divided by our actual enthalpy change and that is coming around 58.984 kg per second now typically in plant we are working a lot with tons so let's convert this into tons so, so it's a uh, 3600 divided uh, divided by 1000 So 212.34 tons per hour. So it's a pretty big turbine which requires 
tons per hour of superheated steam passing through this to generate the shaft power of 56.4 megawatt. So this is our answer number one. So how much steam is required? Now coming to the next, that is what is the quality of steam at the outlet? So what vapor mass fraction is there at the outlet of this steam turbine? So for that, what we would be doing is like we will use again the built-in function of that uh, steam table add-in that is x x stands for the quality uh, quality so x underscore maybe we can use uh, enthalpy and uh, entropy both things are known to us so we can easily calculate so let me put here again go to insert function how is the enthalpy at the outlet that is known to us and what is the entropy Oh, sorry not here and entropy is supposed to be here so what is the entropy that is found oh we have not found any entropy yet so in that case it's better not to use this formula let's go back and let's find something else like x maybe we know h and p is helping no p and h is helping yes pressure is known enthalpy is also known so let's use that formula so here the pressure is 10 kilopascal at the outlet. Enthalpy is also calculated. That is this much, 2436. I'm clicking OK. So this is 93.82 percentage is the vapor mass fraction in the outlet. So this is very easily we could find without getting into, into the steam table, just using the steam table functions. Now, what is the entropy at the outlet? If you want to calculate that, that is also very easy to calculate as uh, entropy for the given maybe we can calculate for the given temperature is still not known yet so maybe i can go with uh, enthalpy and we have no it's not enthalpy and pressure no so we have p h yeah we have pressure and enthalpy known to us so we can calculate what is the entropy for the water and uh, let's use again this insert function pressure is known to us and uh, then enthalpy is also known to us and we can so this is the outlet maybe i think font is not great so let me use this one okay so 7.6852 kilojoules per kg kelvin that is the entropy at the outlet and what would be my temperature Okay, so temperature also we can calculate by using temperature underscore. Maybe now we are knowing um, uh, temperature and um, okay, we, we don't have that. Okay, we have something called enthalpy and entropy. Yes, both are known to us now. So let's uh, use that and try to understand how is the temperature coming. So enthalpy at the outlet is this much. Yes, okay and entropy at the outlet is this much and let me click ok and let me use this uh, font change 45.8 degrees centigrade so here the temperature is 45.8 degrees centigrade so this is how you can easily without getting into the steam table you can use this uh, built-in adding function and you can get to know what should be the outcome now let's do the same example on Aspen Hisis platform and let's uh, try to uh, check our results. Now let's do the same example on Aspen Hisis platform. Here you can see HiSys and Excel results next to each other. We can see here that to generate the shaft work of 56.4 megawatts, the high pressure steam amount required is 212.3 tons per hour, which is very similar to what we have got here in uh, Microsoft Excel. 
In similar way, we also get the outlet temperature prediction by the high is 45.81 degrees centigrade. And here uh, in Excel sheet also, we can we could get 45.8 degrees centigrade, so which is very similar. I hope you have found this video useful. You can download this Excel sheet from the video description. Thanks for watching.